Well, the, a lot of folks, listen, I have asked a lot of people, have you ever heard of the Gnostic myth of Sophia? And they're like, no. Of course I wouldn't. And I, right, I, I realize that because it's not, called, you know, it's not something they teach in school. No. See, when I was having my memories, right, I didn't know about the Sophia thing. I was listening to that Lisa chick, Lisa Harrison, interview this guy called John Lamb Lash. I'd never heard of any of that. I'm listening to this shit and I'm listening to this guy speak going, motherfucker, that's what I just wrote. What the fuck, right? And so again, it was like, as I was having my memories, I was getting these confirmations. Well, for, right, so for those that don't know, John Lamb Lash wrote a book called "In Not in His Image," and he it, uh, bills himself. I, I I will apologize to him and everyone else. I do not know that much about John Lamb Lash. I do know that he considers himself a Gnostic scholar. Whether or not he actually has those credentials, again, I have not checked that out. But I have heard his material, and I am aware of the uh, Gnostic myth of Sophia. They call it a myth. I'm not so sure it is. Um, <laughs> the Gnostics were a group of folks that were like pre-Christians and they, um, everyone has heard of the Dead Sea Scrolls, I'm sure. And the, there was, was an awful lot of information found in the Nag Hammadi, uh, library, uh, which is the whole set of what was found in the caves in Qumran in 1945. So the Nag Hammadi Library is available. It's been uh, published in English and folks can read it for themselves. That's where the Gospel of Thomas comes from. If I'm not mistaken, there's also a, ga a Gospel of Mary Magdalene that was found in amongst those um, Dead Sea Scrolls. So this is not something that um, Vicky is alone in at all. This is something that the pre-Christians wrote about um their their thoughts and feelings on the subject were that the planet that we all live and love on to use your terminology <laughs> um, was actually what was has been referred to as an aeon or a goddess that lived in the what was called the pleroma or to us the galactic center our milky way's galactic center and that there had been different seedings of humanity throughout the eons of, of time and that they had not succeeded well. And that this young goddess, Sophia, uh, saw what was happening with the, the very last seeding that had been done. Uh, sure, go right ahead. And leapt from the pleroma and eventually became the planet that we live and love on. So we think she was pushed. We, well, we, we think she was pushed now. We've got like, you know, a little bit more intel. But anyway, yes, you're doing great. I'm we, so enthralled. Well, which is going to be in your second part of your book, right? Okay, great. Yeah. And I, I can't wait for that information to come out. I, I'm, I'm very intrigued by that as well. So there's a lot, there's a little bit to get folks started. If you're interested to find out exactly what the pre-Christians thought, check out John Lamb Lash. I will, you know, put a, a link to his stuff too. Um, uh, by the way, I'm going to try to reach out to him as well. Um, Good luck with that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. We, you know. Uh, I, think he, I think he'll come on. I, I don't think he won't come on. I don't mean that. I just, he's a, he's a funny one. I mean, I was really impressed with Lisa's handling of him. I found the way he approached her quite misogynistic and quite uh, patronising. But the information was great and she was open to it and it then led the interview that they had into a place where he, in treating her as an equal, it was a great interview, you know, like it really opened things up. Um, I mean, he talks about... A10 in terms of DNA, in terms of a template. I talk about A10 and A11 in terms of consciousness and lineage. So one is sort of like a really physical expression experience and the other one is far more away the consciousness created this world. I see. Well, and I, I, 
I, I had not made that distinction, but I can see where you're going with that now. And I can see where that would be. Yeah. 